Hi, this is Todd Skopik, Building Science Manager of The Henry Company. And today I'm gonna to spend a couple minutes explaining the different exceptions under the IBC code that pertain to NFPA 285. So in different code years, it appears in different areas of the code. So we'll start off with the 2018 uh, IBC. It appears in 1402.5 of the code. And there's three exceptions. The first is walls in which the WRB is the only combustible component and the exterior wall has a wall covering of essentially heavy masonry or thick enough steel that it meets um, a chart under 1404.2. So you'd have to cross-reference that. The second exception is, uh, is pretty unique. It's walls in which the WRB is the only combustible component and the WRB has basically different fuel contribution characteristics such as peak heat release, total heat release, and effective heat of combustion. So these are all under um, the cone calorimeter test or ASTM E1354. Uh, an additional, or in addition to passing those criteria, uh, also has to be class A for ASTM E84 for both flame spread 25 or less and smoke developed 450 or less. Um, so as you'd see here in this model, it would have to be basically a CMU backup wall um, and um, you know, a heavy masonry or thick enough steel that it wouldn't combust within that uh, test. And then your CI or continuous insulation is mineral fiber. So this wall comes up pretty close. And of course, the only combustible component would then be the WRB, in this case, the Blue Skin VP160. So that's the reason for the model here. Um, and then the third exception is under fenestration products. Flashing of fenestration products and water resistive barrier flashing and accessories at other locations, including through wall flashing, shall not be considered part of the WRB. Uh, when I say WRB, of course, air barrier and water barrier all in the same category. So in this case, if there was a rough opening here, there'd be, you know, three inches of blue skin, metal clad, beautiful flash, you know, into the opening, three inches onto the field, that would be that would be part of that exception number three. So why are these exceptions relevant? Well, here at the Henry Company, we have three air water bearers that meet exception number two. The first is Air Block 17 MR. The second one is Air Block All Weather STPE. And the third is Blue Skin Metal Clad. So if you're wall assembly is such that it can comply with exception number two, you can use any of these three air water barriers and not only be code compliant, but you can be exempt from meeting the NFPA 285. 